We still got five. I get these excellent buckets from work. Um, spices come in them, so I just bring them home and wash them out, and then I just store my feed in them. And it's easy to just grab one and then bring it out to fill up another bucket that's already outside. I got mice in here, so I just taped up a little hole. So I gotta try and uh, keep the mice down again. Looks like I have to pick up a couple more buckets tomorrow at work. Here's some hay for you, Nana. There you go, sweet boy. Here's some hay for you, baby. There you go. You can make a nest. some fresh hay in there for you. It's pretty good. It's got their layer of fresh hay too. They like to hide underneath it. You can see. They <laughs> like hiding in it. Put some more straw out for these guys because uh, it was pretty wet, so she needed some more straw. Look at that baby just sitting there. Aren't you cold, little baby? Go inside. You funny thing. There you go. I guess I grew some okra. I did bring home a couple more buckets from work so that I could put my feet in them. And I got the rabbit feed in there and the quail feed and the chicken layer all in there. I still have another bag of layer uh, starter over there and another bag of rabbit feed in my black all sunflower seeds. So I guess I could use a couple more buckets. I still have these two sillies out here, these two little girls. I never put them in the aviary. They're plenty big enough by now, but I don't know. I kind of like seeing them out here. They like eating through the little thing I set up, too. Uh, I just keep them out here in my carport uh, with all the mess. Uh, I guess I gotta clean up. Well, one of the quails scooted out the door uh, when I went in there to feed them this morning and uh, is over here somewhere. And I guess she's gone forever. First she flew into Kelso's pen. Well, <laughs> the quail got out, huh, Kelso? Over there with you? You gonna eat the quail? Yeah. Oh, you silly quail. <sighs> I don't wanna go over there. And um, I hopped over the fence to to go and get her but she flew all the way off out in the yard there's no way i'm getting her back oh well another one down hope those guys don't get any ideas silly birds yeah you guys don't get any ideas All right, so it's time to check on the mealworms. I'll look at this one first. So I do have some darkling beetles in there, which is good, and their potatoes look okay. So they look good. And let's check out the mealworms. Oh, bunch of mealworms. And we got some darkling beetles, and they look like they need new potatoes. So let's see beetles over here and this one only a couple I'll 
also kind of look for these guys because they're going to turn into beetles really soon. So now they have fresh potato and they've been filtered out a little bit. These guys, I cut their potato up a little to open it up. One of the sides also was uh, starting to get a little gross, so I cut that side off. I don't want that in there. And all those guys will turn into darkling beetles in just a few days. Hi, Fluff. Hi, silly girl. You need to go out, baby. Yeah? Oh, my. Every time. And then they come right back in. Staying out, baby. No, you're coming right back in, too. Oh, goofy dogs. Come and follow me back in. Yeah. You're a jerk. Come on. Come on, you gotta go back in. Come on. You break everything. Well, last night Kelso broke out of his pen again and uh, he came over to Katie's he he just he busted the screws right out of this and busted into here he busted through that one and got into the the piggles area uh, I don't think he messed with Katie in there she she's not gonna let him get anywhere near her with the babies so that was good I have no idea if he got to the piggle uh, She's breeding age, so I have no idea what happened there. Ugh, this stupid pig. I don't know. I got a little piggy. Not happy. Doesn't like being held. <laughs> hello, little piggy. It's a little girl. Yes, hello, little girl. <laughs> All right, this little girl doesn't want to be held. Katie's a little upset, but I was looking and she scooted through the wrong side of the fence, so I had to pick her up. Well, I guess the piglets have decided that they like hanging out with the piggle. We had two of them over there. They're not going to be happy with me when I go get him and bring him back. Katie, where's your babies? 
Yeah, they're on the wrong side. They're finding one little hole and getting through. All right, well, I gotta get them. All right, I think I blocked it with that. I tried this before, but then uh, the piggle breaks them off. You break them off. Oh, Katie, stop. 